Hello, I am two-time Judo Paralympian and NCCP Level 4 coach, Tony Walby, and this is my training partner, Matthew LeMay. In this video, we will show you ways to adapt your instruction of Niwaza techniques for visually impaired judoka. It is very important for the safety and development of all judoka that you pair visually impaired judoka up with experienced judoka. It is very important as an instructor of visually impaired judoka that you understand these judoka will not be able to follow your actions during a demonstration and that alternative teaching methods will be needed. The following are three methods that will help you when instructing judoka with a visual impairment. Descriptive teaching method. When demonstrating a technique to a class that includes visually impaired judoka, be as descriptive as possible. Kazagatami. Uke lying flat on their back with their arms at their side. Tori kneeling in front of Uke will take Uke's right arm and place it on Tori's left side. Tori will then place their right hand beside Uke's head on Uke's left side. Tori will sit on their right. Tori will slide their hand under Uke's head, grabbing Uke's right shoulder. Tori's right knee will come up close to Uke's head Tori's left ankle will go back towards Uke's right leg. Tori will then make sure that Uke's right arm is under Tori's left arm. Tori's head will go down close to Uke's right shoulder. Tactile teaching method. In my experience, this is the most effective way to teach judo to people with visual impairment. The best way to approach this is to have a sighted, experienced judoka perform the technique slowly a few times on the visually impaired judoka. This way, the visually impaired judoka can feel the movement and understand what is happening. The visually impaired judoka can then attempt the technique and be corrected if necessary by the experienced judoka. Okay, Tony, I'm gonna do kezakatame on you, which is a scarf hold. First, I'm gonna pull your arm up so give me space to sit. I'm gonna put my right hand next to you and come and sit down next to you. As I spread my legs, Feel where my legs are placed right now. One leg here, yeah. one leg there. Okay. I'm then gonna pull your arm tight so I can move my right arm under you and pull your shoulder. Now, so I don't get rolled over, I'm gonna bring my head down and keep control. Now try to move and you can see how I have you hold down. Okay. You understand? Yes. Let's try it. So you're here, you pull this here, and here. That's right. Partner teaching method. In this method, the sighted, experienced judoka manipulates the body and movements of the visually impaired judoka to achieve the desired outcome. At each stage, the experienced judoka explains what they are doing and what is expected of the visually impaired judoka. Younger visually impaired judoka may require a second sighted experienced judoka for this method. Be aware, this is a very effective but time consuming method for teaching judo to visually impaired judoka. All right, Tony, we're gonna to do kezakatami. First, I want you to grab my arm and pull it on your side. Okay. Next, with this hand, you're gonna come put it next to me, right okay. here. With your hips, you're gonna sit through, and that leg is gonna spread out in front, and this other leg is gonna open up back. Okay. Now, at the same time, as you're pulling this arm nice and tight, okay. you're gonna squeeze your arm around my head and grab my shoulder. Okay. Just like that. Now, I'm gonna put your head down, and now I won't be able to move out. Okay. That's the hold down. Do you understand? Yep. So under here, 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 here. Just like that. Okay. Using these methods, you will be able to adapt your instruction to include visually impaired judoka. It has been my experience when teaching Osai Waza, a combination of tactile and partner teaching methods are most effective. For Konsensu Waza and Shime Waza, 
a combination of all three, descriptive, tactile, and partner teaching methods should be used. <laughs> <laughs>